السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر ویورس ویلکم بیک ٹو آور بیوٹیفل سیشن آف تسکیہ ورک شاپ بینگ ہیلڈ ان کوئنس نیو یارک ان دا منتھ آف جنوری ٹو تھاؤزینڈ ٹوینٹی تھری الحمد اللہ ہیز گیون اس ایبلٹی ٹو گیدر ہیئر ٹو گیدر اینڈ پریپ آور سیلوس ٹو ٹو اسٹارٹ آور تسکیہ وی ہیو بین لسننگ آل along this uh, in, the fast, in the past few months to, to prep up ourselves to how to purify our hearts. And today I will be talking about the point number nine out of ten points of Tazkiyah. This beautiful point number nine is the point of or is the highlight of Hubbe Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which you can call the Prophet, the love of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in your hearts. The love of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the bedrock of Islamic faith. Until and unless you achieve a love of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which is more than the love of your parents, of your children and of your entire humanity, you cannot attain a full level of Iman. This is according to our uh, uh, beloved's prophet's hadith, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In one hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam very vehemently ordered us, "Love me, because Allah loves me." Now imagine that somebody who is a confirmed beloved person of Allah subhanahu wa taala, and this personality is ordering us to love him. What else is there remaining for us to shy away from not loving him? We have to pay attention to the fact that this uh, love of Prophet is the fundamentals of the religion of Islam. And if we are devoid of that, God forbid, our religion, our Islam, our Iman is not complete. You know, interesting fact is that uh, nobody out of the creators, uh, creations of this world has seen Allah, the creator. Nobody has ever seen and nobody will ever be able to see that. So now if Allah were to give the commands to his creation, you know, without ever letting him know that who Allah is and how, how, what he wants from us, it would be very hard and difficult for the creation to follow his commands. But this was the great blessing and favor and gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he chose one person among entire humanity and he made one person the perfect person. He gave him the full perfectionism and full Uh, distinction in every sense of the word to to make a role model for humanity and once that role model came you know he sent down the seismic waves which crashed the the, the greatest empires of that world of that time and sending the signal to everybody that now the only rule will be of this person the only ruling will be from this person who is going to send down the message of Allah in, in the entire world. And that is the personality of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is such a role model that is universally accepted. He has embraced all the qualities, ca characteristics, attributes that a human person could possibly have to be a nice person. And he has embodied all those good qualities in him so that, you know, everybody could benefit from him, could follow him and make him as a role model. That is why it becomes very uh, relevant uh, for us to follow him in our religious and worldly obligations. Uh, one beautiful hadith in which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa explained himself. Uh, and he said that uh, my example and the example of prophets before me is like that is like the example of a person who made a very beautiful building he adorned it with all the embellishments and he made it a very attractive looking building but he left one brick in one corner unfilled whenever whoever person whoever looked at the building he would marvel at the beauty of the building they would come in awe and they would be just wonderstruck by the glamour and the radiance of the building but then they would ask where is that brick missing from the corner so I am that brick and I am the final seal of prophets subhanallah so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him that perfection that without him the line of prophethood was not complete and without him the humanity would not be complete that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him that final radiance final 
all encompassing characteristics that would be beneficial for us uh, and for the for the world uh, for the humanity to come after him after giving him that uh, jamiyat and that completion in his personality allah is again bestowing upon him the authority look at the authority that allah has given to him our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam all this i am talking about in the context of uh, that we should love our prophet we should start loving for our prophet we should start craving to love for our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because it's uh, no little task to love it's no it's no little deal it's no no small deal for us to be the the follower of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam it's a great deal it's a great great deal only at the time in the in the in the time of at the time of judgment on the day of judgment we will figure out that how lucky and how good it was to be a umm ummati of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so allah has given him the authority by telling us wama ataakum ar rasul fa khuzuhu wama nahaakum anhu fantahu and take whatever rasul gives you and stay away from what from which he stops you now this is a great overall authority allah has given to him and he is teaching us that he is a role model from for you just take whatever he is giving you and stop yourself from whatever he is stopping you that way you can enlighten your life in this world and the world hereafter once upon a time a uh, bedouin came to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he asked him uh, about the day of qiyamah he asked ya rasulullah uh, when is the day of judgment rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his astonishment asked him what have you and how have you prepared for that day he said ya rasulullah i don't have much in my account regarding my prayers and salat uh, regarding my prayers and my fasts but i know for a fact that i have the love of allah and his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam upon hearing this rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said al mar'u man habba person will be with who he used to love in the world so the narrator of the hadith says that after hearing this the 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 sahaba used to rejoice over this hadith more than anything else beside the fact that they embraced islam that after embracing islam that anything anything that would rejoice them would be this fact that since they love rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam they would be with him on the day of resurrection and once you are with rasulullah it is it automatically means that you are with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because allah is with, always with rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam without any shadow of doubt a um, beautiful fact that there are many ways to befriend allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but the most desirable and the 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 sheer short way to reach allah subhanahu wa taala to 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 love and attain nearness to allah subhanahu wa taala is to love his prophet rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah taala himself is indicating that in one of his one of his one of his ayat qul in kuntum tuhibbun allah fattabi'uni yuhibbukum allah yaghfir lakum wa yaghfir lakum dhunubakum Allah Allah is telling Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam O oh Rasul tell your companions that if if your companions love me then they should follow you Allah will automatically love them and he will forgive your sins what else we need we want our our loves our sins to be forgiven and we want the love of allah and rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam that will carry you long inshallah once you you have developed the love of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam it will give you permission uh, to receive intercession from allah uh, from rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam you will get a uh, special uh, recommendation on the day of qiyamah uh, to be to be entered to jannat uh that is why it comes in the virtues of durud salam that uh, when you when you recite durud salam there are many virtues in it one is that uh, allah subhanahu wa taala appoints two angels on your behalf who are supplicating on your behalf for your maghfirat now you are as not you are not asking for your forgiveness to allah subhanahu wa taala because you are busy reciting durud salam but allah has appointed two angels just for that purpose uh, who are supplicating on your behalf for uh, for forgiveness now what else we need like we are doing we are performing one ibadat and we are uh, double dipping we are getting other benefits also along with that 
Also, when we are reciting Durud Salam, what else we are achieving? We are expressing the Aqidah Tawheed, which is another bedrock of our Iman, right? We are expressing the deep Aqidah Tawheed, which is hidden in Durud Salam Ibadat. Thirdly, when you are reciting and sending Durud Salam upon Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and you sandwich your duas between Durud Salam, basically you are making sure that your duas are accepted in the court of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Because when our duas reach Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and they are uh, they are wrapped around with the, with Durud Sharif at both ends, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala accepts those do, those duas. Why? Because Allah has to accept and Allah accepts freely the the the, the our ibadat of Durud Salam. So in between everything, He accepts it automatically. Last but not the least, one of the virtues of Durud Salam, when we remember Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when we try to express our love to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by reciting upon him Durud Salam, our name is mentioned on a weekly basis that so, such and such person from such and such place has recited Durud Salam upon you. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam acknowledges that. And a time comes when you become a regular uh, comer. Uh, and regular person in the court of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he starts to give you attention and the love that you are looking for in the end i would uh, like to you know uh, you know end uh, by you know discussing a very common rule that we all live by every day that um, and it's also good news for you uh, the rule is that you begin by 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 doing what is possible then you do what is di what you think is difficult suddenly you are doing what is impossible. So by looking through this rule, you can easily accomplish the love of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You start by reciting the Rood Sharif, which is the easiest way, you know, to start your journey. Then you start to adopt the Sunnat way of life in every aspect of your life. And then suddenly you will find that your sincerity and your efforts in adopting sunnats have landed you in the eyes of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he has started loving you. And you will feel that love of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in your hearts. This is very important. Without the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, our our ibadats will be tasteless. Our worships will be tasteless. Our visits to grave of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam may be tasteless because we don't have a love. We are just doing it as a formality. And Allah doesn't care about the formality. Allah really wants the quality of things. He doesn't want the quantity of things. Um, reminds me. Uh, reminds me of a very beautiful uh, narration from Mufti uh, Shafi Sahib Nawarallah Umar Katahu. He was once uh, visiting the grave of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So out of his abundant fondness and keenness, he tried to peek through the, the fenced wall of uh, Rosa Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam just to take an inside and closer look to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's grave. From there he heard a voice telling him that anybody who is following my sunnats is close to me even if he is living far. But he is far from me who is not following my sunnats even though he comes close to me. This is a very important message for today that whether we are far from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa doesn't matter. But if we are applying and adopting the sunnahs of his way of life, we are closer to him because he is getting all the information about us and he gets us closer if we are adopting his way of life. May Allah give us ability to love our Prophet in the fondest manner that Allah wants us to do. Wa akhiru dawana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.